Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here in the shop. I want to talk to you about a really cool new spoon from VMC. It's their gliding spoon. And uh, man, this has been a real game changer for me. I've always loved spoon fishing, but this has got some really unique features. You know, the first thing is it comes in two different spoon shapes or blade shapes. One is the willow and the willow style blade is more elongated. It's got a little less vibration but it's got a lot more flash. And then you've got the turtle style spoon or blade and this one's got a wider vibration, a little bit more wide vibration to it and a little less flash. You know when I'm picking which type of spoon Basically, the clearer the water, the more I go to that elongated willow gliding spoon. And in the dirtier water situation, stained dirty water, I'll go to that turtle style blade. Um, you know, the next thing is, is trailers. And I hardly ever fish this spoon just plain without a trailer. I almost always add a trailer. And it gives it a little bit more bulk and profile. And it also makes it weedless. So I can throw this thing in heavy, nasty cover and sparse cover, whatever. Um, and, but it's real key that you don't overpower the spoon with the trailer. So forget about grubs and big tails. Forget about those things. The kind of trailer you want to use on the VMC gliding spoon is a neutral or no action trailer. And two of my favorites are uh, Berkley Powerbait Twitch Tail Minnow. And I'll get one of them out and show you the rigging on that. And then the other one is just a real thin worm, like a shaky style worm. Um, this is a wacky crawler. Those two are my favorite shapes. And the VMC gliding spoon, if you look at it, it's got just this little keeper post on the eye. And I'm just basically going to push the nose of that bait into that keeper eye. And then I'm going to take that bait and I'm going to make sure it's nice and straight and I'm going to expose it on that hook. So I push it through and that's going to keep it weedless. But when that fish bites, boom, there's your point. And that bait right there will come through any cover and it's got that side to side spoon movement. I'm basically casting it out. I reel it medium to slow and when I hit a piece of cover or every third or fourth crank, I'll throw a small pause into it and that's going to make it shimmy down a little bit. Um, let me tell you something, if you're looking for an alternative to a spinner bait or a chatter bait or something like that, especially in tough conditions, try this VMC gliding spoon, you're going to get a lot of bites.